Back in 2017, me and the covers band I play with, Another Crisis, put together a video of our version of the killer song, Mr Brightside, and there's a link in the description if you're curious. When I originally transcribed the guitar parts for that song, I did so with a capo on four. And then, two years later, I was watching The Killers on TV at Glastonbury, and who should appear on stage with them but Johnny Marr? And he was playing Mr Brightside. And he was playing it the way I did. Now, a few months back, I shared the video that me and the Another Crisis boys made of Mr Brightside, and it started getting comments like these. It looked like you were playing it the way Johnny Marr did at Glastonbury. It would be great to have a lesson on how to play it that way. I would really like to see you do a video on how to play this song, because I can see you use a capo and also play the main riff in a different position. How are you playing Mr Brightside as I saw Johnny Marr play it the same way as you? So today I thought I'd do a quick breakdown of how to play the Johnny Marr version of the Mr Brightside riff by The Killers. Now the real beauty of playing it this way is that it doesn't require you to retune your guitar. It's one of the things that annoys me the most as a guitarist, coming to transcribe a song you really like and then discovering that the band have played the whole song on guitars tuned down an entire semitone. And that is, frustratingly, the case with Mr Brightside. The song has been originally recorded in E-flat standard and it's being played as if it were in D. So, here we go. How to play the Mr Brightside riff Johnny Marr style. So we're going to start off by learning the riff without the capo. So ring finger goes on 7 on the D string. Then your middle finger goes on 6 on the G and your index finger goes on 5 on the E. So once you have that position in your fretting hand, your picking hand is literally just picking over it and the pinky goes on and off on the 7th fret. So we start by plucking the D string, then the G, then we skip over the B and go to the E. Back to the G and then the B. Now this is where the pinky goes on, to the 7 of the E, and then the 5. And then on the way back down, you just hit that G string again. So, that first phrase all the way through. Now all that changes for the second version of the phrase is, index finger stays where it is, but we rearrange the other two fingers to here. So, middle finger moves from 6 on the G, to 6 on the D, and ring finger now goes to 6 on the G, and we have exactly the same picking pattern. Pinky on, pinky off. Do that slowly. And now we bring index finger over here, and it's just these two fingers, so the index finger is now back where it started on the 6th fret of the G, and the ring finger is completely off for this final position, which you play twice. And again, it's the same picking pattern, but this time we've got an O on the D string. And we do it twice. And that is the whole riff. So let me play you the whole thing through now, start to finish, nice and slow. As you can see here, the capo goes on the 4th fret, so that means we obviously also have to shift our position up 4 frets to here. So really, you're playing exactly the same riff, but you're just imagining this is your fret 0. 
Now the Johnny Marr version in 2019 is actually quite a lot faster than the studio recorded version. So it's up to you how fast you want to push this. But this is the riff with the capo on at somewhere near full speed. And that's all there is to it. So best of luck learning that one. Remember, repetition is the key. There's a link in the description to the tab. Have fun and I'll see you next time.